What's happening, everybody? Sorry for for my voice being a little bit raspy. You know, I've been talking all morning, man. Talking all morning. That's what I do. I I knock all this stuff out in one day, or at least try to knock it out in one day, and whoo, I just be out of it. I just be out of it. You know what I'm saying? Well, what's going on, everybody? Lockout Men here, back again with another podcast interview for you guys. This young lady comes to me by way of messenger. We've been knowing each other for a hot minute. As a matter of fact, we got something in common. Yeah, that's right. We got the same first name, but she spelled hers with a W and I spelled mine with an N. Or with a U. E. It doesn't matter. It's different. She came at me. She was like, yo, you got my name. You know what I'm saying? I, I was the first one with it. I was like, no, no, babe. Uh-uh. 50 years old. I, I got it. I had it first. She uh, she was rolling. Uh, she just got sick and tired of uh, what, you know, the company where she was at. Started looking like McDonald's money. We're going to start talking about that. If y'all don't know what McDonald's money is, it's like three four hundred dollars where you could just make at mcdonald's you know what i'm saying she didn't even get her last bonus man we're gonna have to talk about that too you know what i'm saying so what i'm gonna have to do now is bring my girl to the stage let's welcome Lashawn smith to the show miss smith or miss jackson yes. if you're nasty huh <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's going on with you? Where you at in this part of the world? Where am I at right now? Yeah, where where you at right now? I'm in Dayton, Ohio. Okay, you in my you 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 in my home. part of the woods. <laughs> yep. I'm back home. Oh, so you wait Black. wait a minute now. I, I ain't know all of this now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I ain't know all of this now. You you Ohio? Yes. No, you're not. Dayton Strong. No, you're not. No, Dayton you're not. Strong. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. <laughs> you're not. You're not Ohio. How how are we? How are we able to have all this stuff in common, man? You're not. You're you you not you, right? you you're not Ohio. You you're not Ohio. Yes, I am. Born and raised. <laughs> yes, I am. Born and raised. Yes, sir. Born and raised. Philadelphia, Lakeview. Yes, sir. Come on now. Wait, 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 wait. Cleveland, Ohio, or just Ohio? The real uh, part of Ohio, the heart, the Dayton. Dayton. Road. Dayton? Yes. Dayton. Dayton. Dayton ain't no yes, city. Dayton. Ever. Dayton ain't no city. <laughs> Dayton is like a little dot. Dayton ain't no city. Oh, you so corny. <laughs> uh, the crossroads where you need to go. Yep, the crossroads mm-hmm. right there. Dayton, Dayton is not a, Day, Dayton is not a city. I, I uh, north and south. Yes, well, well, since you are, since you already said where you from and all like that from Dayton, man, what what what, what was life like as a what was life like as a as a young uh, Lashawn Smith, Lashawn Smith? Let me pronounce your name right because you got the W in your name, <laughs> Lashawn well. Smith. What was life was like? On a better part of it, it was great. Mm-hmm. I had rough times, different story. But on a better part of it, it was great. Mm-hmm. Had a great father. Had great grandparents. My mom was cool. All right, all I right. lived life to the fullest. Put it away. You say you lived life to the fullest. It was. Yes. It was. It was kind of. It was. It was kind of hard coming up. A little, uh, just a little, just a little. You, 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 you persevere through, though, right? Yeah, my story is typical. It's like you know, I'm not the only one that went through it. So I survived. Mm-hmm. Um, not the bad of it, I could say. At one time, I lived a domestic violence career, but I'm a survivor. Life goes on. I'm fine. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. You know, Ohio. You know, Ohio toughens a lot of people such as myself and miss smith here man so you know what i'm saying if you if you grew up in if you grew up in the ohio streets and you know 
you know what it was about. Sometimes it was easy. Sometimes it was it was hard. You know what I'm saying? Right. But it's the way that you it's the way that you put it down. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's the way that you wanted to live. Like, yo, if I'm going to live down this road A, or am I going to take down this road B? And you right. took, and, and you took the road that was that was better for better for you. Right. Okay, okay, okay. You know, it's not about, it's not so much about getting knocked down, it's about can you get back up afterwards. Okay, okay. So before trucking, man, what 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 uh what you was doing before you got into trucking? <laughs> okay, real talk. Okay, I was a dancer for 25 years. You was um, what? I was top five. A professional for 25 years. A, wait, a what? And I was top five. Huh? <laughs> Professional. A professional. Oh, P O L E. Oh, you was a pole professional. Oh, a pole. Okay. Yeah. See, I, you know what, man? Okay. First time. You know. Hold on. Let me let me get my let me let me give myself a buzzer for that. <laughs> hold on, very quick. I got to give myself a buzzer <laughs> for not for not knowing what the pole. Professional is so yeah i i know i i know now so you say you did that for about what 25 years she is happy Woo! so you sweet on that then huh thank you have you uh bet you now sean listen it's got it sound kind of funny calling my name over <laughs> i know right but um there was a video back uh, a while back. I I, I want to say like last year or something like that. And a pole professional fell off the pole. <laughs> and but she yeah. got but she got back up and and went out like a pro. Has that ever happened yeah. to you? No, not at all. Oh, okay. That was that was pretty bad. I felt pretty bad for her. She was pretty high up for mm -hmm. the routine she was doing. Yeah, but she however, she she hit that floor hard too. I mean, it was like that was, <laughs> it was like it was dangerous. It was like boom, but she finished it out. But yeah. she she did break a couple of she did break a couple of bones. Yeah, she did. I mean, when you're doing those routines, it is as I have a closed deal. Um practice at home literally mm -hmm. every profession you got to practice and, you know sometimes you step up and it is dangerous because those poor posts get pretty oily mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. from the girls you know cranes and etc but yeah that was really dangerous but practice 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 let me yeah. let me let me ask you this now you know before you know before covid cv19 um mm -hmm. you 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 guys was was wiping off the poles, sanitizing the poles before before yeah, you, you got on there, right? Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's protocol. Now I know you. I I know you're you're in trucking now, but you know your your past profession was the was was the po pole professional. Let me still give myself a buzzer for that. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> but. Uh, <laughs> But 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 life life as a pole professional, what was life like during that time? Because I I, I know it was I, I know it was for you it it, it was exhilarating, but it, it must have been dangerous at times too. Yes, I've had moments. Yeah, I've had moments. So you, but you know, like it like the saying says, you make that money, you don't let the money make you. So you know, all money is good money. You know, one thing no. So let me ask you this: uh, that the um, I know that I know that saying came from the damn movie, and I forgot what it was. It's true. Forget, it's true. I forgot what the damn movie was. It's the uh, it's, it's Players Club. Players Club. Thank you. Thank you. Play, That's me, another one. Just say it that one. See, there you go. See, another one. There, there you go. There you go. I, I got it. I'm, I, I keep up with it, man. I keep up with it. Yo, you gotta excuse me. You know, age is setting. Are you fine? 
age is setting in. <laughs> but, uh, Players Club, which was a good movie. But let me ask you this. Uh, the, the, the scenes in Players Club, uh, you know, does that portray what really goes on in a, in a particular, uh, in a particular nightclub atmosphere? It does. They came as close as they could. And um, the movie Hustler with J-Lo in it, mm -hmm. that's, a, that's an even better version of it. So, yeah. Okay, I'm going to have to yeah. check that out. I'm going to have to check that movie out. I, I even watched Hustler. Like, hold on. Let me, I seen Players Club growing up. Okay, boom. Then Hustler came out. Like, let me see Hustler and think about what I did throughout life and how it was and see if what I did was cool if I made any mistakes. And after seeing that, I was like, oh, shoot. I was a boss. So both so so both of the uh, so both of the movies kind of like mirrored your 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 twenty five yeah, your yeah. twenty five year profession. Yeah, it sure So throughout throughout your yep. th throughout that part of throughout that part of your life, did you did you uh, did you go to like different states? Because some females said that you know sometimes the money is not all that great in Ohio. You know, they they had to they had to move and go to different states to 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 make yeah um, that kind other of money. states honor honor the ones more if you're from out of state because it, you're different. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, I had it was me and a few of my friends. We would travel I seventy five north and south to mm -hmm. see how much money we could make, whatever. And yeah, it was very fun. It was it was fun. Have you? Uh, is, is it like true? I said, if you go to different clubs? Go to different clubs, like I said, they're honor if you're from out of town because it's not the same old face, mm -hmm. you know. Um, y'all bring y'all bring something different. Y'all right. y'all bring a different type of flavor right. when you go to a different uh, different city. Right. So it never it it never got boring for you. No, it did. Okay. So is it true what they say about uh about uh Atlanta Atlanta clubs down there? Is it true what they say? What is it they say? They say that uh they say that Atlanta clubs get down down there, especially, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. especially yeah. the one across the street it's, from the yeah. Greyhound. So like Magic, like Magic City. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, yeah. It was, it was nice. It was popping. It was they were doing their thing. So yeah. like so like Players Club, they they had the 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 red buzzer when when a particular uh superstar rapper celebrity comes in. Did, did did they have it down in uh did they have that down there where you, you know where you I, I never at? actually danced in Magic I, I never actually danced Magic City but I did go to it I mean mm -hmm. while I was there I didn't see the buzzer thingy or hear the buzzer thingy so but it was just opening up uh, it was earlier that day because I was actually catching Greyhound coming back home right because Greyhound is right across the street from me right right and I was by myself I had my kids and um a family member with me. I did mm -hmm. go across and say, hold on, watch, watch the kids. I'm going here and look. They're not going to say anything because you're waiting on the Greyhound. Right, right. Yeah, it was, Um, I had, I wasn't there for the celebrities. I'm pretty sure because it's Atlanta. Magic okay. City, they've hit a few movies. So I'm pretty sure, yeah, it'd be getting on and popping down there. Now, other than, now, other no. than, other than the regulars and, uh, and the regulars, has, have you, have you ever came in any contact with any celebrities in, in Ohio? <laughs> Um, no, they haven't. No. Yeah, I kind of feel um, that. No, no. This is I think twenty five years. Have I? No, I want to say no. I don't okay. remember how much pictures. I want to say no. Now, other than the dating clubs, what what clubs you have you danced in? Any of the Cleveland clubs? Uh, more of Columbus. I danced in a few of them of Columbus. Oh, okay. So you you never mess with you never mess with none of the Cle never came up Cleveland way. I did a lot of uh, bachelor party, uh, bachelor bachelorette parties, mm -hmm. LBG, whatever you call that parties. So, because some of them just actual private parties, like dancing or bachelor, like birthdays, um, like the what's called the wedding. Um, the I want to say gay weddings. So I want to say no party, but the LGB. Whatever you call that, yes, all done. Best for everybody. Is it? Is it now, Shine? 
Now I, I did clubs in in my young years. I, I even I was even a DJ for the for uh for Lynn Rocks. That was the name of the club over there off of Miles Avenue. Little little, it was a little hole in the wall. You know what I'm saying? But still, that's where that's where all the regulars went to. And you know, you had you know, uh, doing like between eight o'clock between eight and 12 you know they had they you know they was in full you know dancer gear and then from 12 to midnight you know they're you know uh, i mean from midnight to like two in the morning when they close you know they'll come up out of their gear and they'll be you know they'll be fully naked um and then if you stay later at the uh two the two to five one more goes on Okay, okay. Well, yeah. See, we 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 never stayed open until the, the latest time. Was like, yeah, the latest time was like two thirty at the most. But yeah, we we it was, was we it was, was under, VIP. So yeah, we was you under. You see how that goes? Oh, okay, okay. You yeah. see how that goes? You yeah. see how that goes? Go. Uh, they usually open about noon, eleven noon in the morning, <laughs> afternoon, and that's the day shift. You got the A, you got the B, mm-hmm. um, up until midnight to closing. You got to see if you don't spend enough money mm-hmm. and you are still spending money. We shut down. The public guy was shut down. Everybody got home, last call for alcohol, you're out. But then once everything is clear, doors are locked. We, we, we open back up, but everybody don't get to come. Right. That was really for the bigger spenders. So, 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 Sean, can you, can, can, can you tell me? Uh, some of the scary moments that you experienced um, in, in that, if any? Yeah, it's being held at gunpoint. Um, being robbed. Mm. Um, being set up by friends who think they're friends and kind of find out they were in competition. Um, <laughs> they turned a guy that was in the military and Got a lot of bit domestic, and when the cops was called, is when you find out that military trumps the police. So he got in a heated dispute, had no way of getting out because when the cops come, mm-hmm. they bow down the military. So all they had to do was show their active military ID. The cops pulled back. The only mm-hmm. thing they could do was wait till everything is over. And see that you get home safely. Wow. Yeah. Well, Sean, I, I I know I I know twenty five years uh, doing that was 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 rough. You 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 said to yourself yeah. you, oh, it wasn't was it rough or was it it wasn't it wasn't too rough. Yeah, I said it was rough. Oh, okay, okay. Um, I knew. You know, you, I met my hat. You know, when you're in that profession, your, your best thing to do is to stay focused set goals and you know take the money that you do make and do something better with it and it's me I want some trucking to trucking mm-hmm. so, and some days I'm trucking at the we got no money thing I was like I got to make more money trucking you know so what so with the money that you made and the money that you saved up you you decided to you you decided to come up out of that profession what was what was the what was the reason or what was the inspiration of you coming up out of that profession? Well, my my kids had graduated. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I don't have to do this no more. Okay. Just, I can just go find something else and do me. Kids are grown and gone. Mm-hmm. It's just me. I did it for, I, did, I will admit, I did it for um, a few more years to uh, trying to get me together because all my money is going on kids. Mm-hmm. Whatever sports activities. So it was in every sport you name, my kids was in I had a daughter and a son, and whatever female sport she was in, he was in the male sport. Meaning, if he did basketball, she did chili. If he was in football, she was in drill team. They were the captains. Mm-hmm. Um, she did tennis. They both did track. He did golf. You know, it was so how to talk to much raise kids, especially when they get older and they're in all the sports. Then they'd be great at what they do. So it's like, okay, I'm going to quit accomplishing things. Um, <laughs> I want to do something for myself. So anyway, I think they graduated. Mm-hmm. Uh, I did it for two more years. However, someone I had met years prior, we lit back up, and he rained a diamond on me instead. And 
the end of my dancing career. He took my pole down. Okay. He, as a matter of fact, we still have my pole, and we got married. So he didn't leave the pole yeah. up. He he could have left it up for for him. No, it was, for, it was yeah. He took the pole down from where I was at. I started. I quit dancing for everybody else. and just dancing for him. Uh that's what I'm talking it's about. Right that's what I'm right, talking so about. Yeah, y'all, y'all still, day, y'all. Still have, the y'all pole still, is still up to this day. Oh, okay, that's <laughs> so, what's up. Y'all still married, yeah. right? Y'all, y'all yes, still. Oh, okay, yes. and the pole is still up, so that's what's up, man. Still up. Got, got, got to yeah. spice up the room some kind of way right. when you come back off the road. <laughs> is uh, is he, is he a truck driver too or no? Uh, no we don't oh no, I didn't hear you. You, 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 <laughs> drown, you drowned no. out. Oh no. Oh, okay. No. Okay. We don't need him driving. Oh, you no. don't need him driving. Okay. That's <laughs> no. what's up. That's what's up. All right. So the kids. I love my husband, but no. All right. But the kids, they, uh, you know, you, 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 you was grinding for your kids, man. Yo, how, how your kids felt about that? Did, did, did you, uh. Okay. Well, in the, in the beginning, my kids never knew. Mm-hmm. They had no clue. And funny how they found out because, um, uh, they was quite like, oh, right about. Uh, 11, 12, maybe. I don't think I had quite hit 12 or 13. They like a year apart. Mm-hmm. And I had stopped because by the time they had gotten in junior high, um, well, excuse me, before they got, I had about fourth grade, I stopped in. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm like, they're getting older. They're trying something else to do. Blah, blah, blah. Times are even rough. I'm like, dang, so make some quick money. But, you know, raising kids, you don't want that, that uh, reputation because they had an incident where one of their friends, mom was a dancer, and one of the other guys, you know, some girls aren't discreet when they do what they do, especially mm-hmm. when they kids. They mm-hmm. sort of realize how kids talk. When they get to school, if something don't go right, the kid gets bullied, blah, blah, blah. Oh, your mom was this, your mom was that, your daddy, how you know, cause my daddy, blah, blah, blah. you know, chaos. So I didn't want that to go around with my kids, you know, any anything. So if I did, if anybody in my life finds out what I did while I was dancing, there was nothing I'm ashamed of. Right. I know I did. I was good at what I did. Enjoy it when you see it. There you That's go. That's all I can say about that. I didn't enjoy, do anything. Enjoy the I, I didn't do anything I regret. Right. So anyway, um, my kids was watching Janet Jackson one day. That little video she did where she had to pose and put the guy up. <laughs> Pleasure principle. My kids down there doing. No, the actual video she did. Some of the times that she did, but she's on the pole and she gets the guy. I don't remember that. I remember okay. pre- I remember Pleasure oh, principle. Lord. I gotta look Brad that. I gotta look that up. I got. I gotta look that up, Janet. I gotta look that up, Janet Jackson pole dancer. Hold on, right quick. Let me see. Janet Jackson pole dancer. Yes. Hold on. Pole dancer. She also did it when she. Uh... Hold on. Let me. Let me try it again. Hold on, right quick. Hold on. Janet Jackson pole dancer. She, uh, she's doing the pole dancer, and she also did it where uh, she put the guy up on stage, off the audience. Uh huh. Okay, but well, anyway, fast forward. Sit on the buzzer later. But anyway, fast forward. My kids was noticing how my, the way I normally dance was similar to Janet. So then mm-hmm. they sat there and put two and two together, and they were seeing some of my clothes they were folding up. So my mother-in-law, my ex-mother-in-law at the time, would make jokes about my clothes. That when uh-huh. she would wash my clothes and wash the clothes, she couldn't fold my stuff up, so she just fold it up and was up to the strings and lace. Okay. So my kids... So my kids get my stuff and they want to just ball it up and put it to the side. Like, Mom, we can't, we don't know how to fold it. There's nothing for string. Okay, I'm going to leave my clothes alone. I'm grown. I can wash my own clothes. I'm good. You know, so it was a big joke in the family about my clothes are so small, they can just ball it up, whatever. Anyway, uh-huh. so my kids went to the together and had asked me, was I dancing? I said, I used to be. They was like, is that when we used to be rich? We have never been rich. They said, uh-huh. Because I used to come home and take them to my in the middle of the night. And they both would have a cart apiece. I would let them get any toy, the toy out they wanted. Anything they wanted, bedroom sets, whatever, they was able to get. There was no limit. And their eyes were great. And my eyes, no, I just hit it really serious stick for this moment. Enjoy it while we can. Mm-hmm. So they um, they, they um, asked me to go back to doing it. I told them, no, they were super grown, and I'm going to get a regular job. They said, Mom, but, you know, some things that we need, some things you need, and we had a lot of money I said, well, you're getting older now. And remember the incident? I had a little friend who was crying upset about the rumors that was going on about her mom dancing. I didn't want to go through that. Okay. So, so, you get really bad, you know, and rumors start, things start because you have haters. So, they 
Davis about three or four years ago back, and finally, once I moved to Columbus, I was like, you know, I had left my dad officially, and I went to Columbus, like, you know what, fine, let's do this. And I did it for a little while, and as they graduated, I moved back to Dayton, and like I said, the story about the guy giving me a diamond, and we got married. That was it. Okay. My daughter, she married, she's a military wife. Okay. Uh, my son, he has two beautiful girls that he raises. Um, he's still active with his baby mother, and he's in the country on his own. Okay. So my kids are living their best life. They're they doing good. Okay. No That's what's up, man. That's what's up, man. I have to give you an applause for that. You uh you, yeah. you did the damn thing for your uh for your family and that's what it's all about. Sometimes, you know, strong women like yourself, man, I, I like to hear stories of strong women that you know that that does the craziest shit, but do it for the right reasons. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of yeah. a lot of females that's in the pole fashion though is not in it for all the right reasons. And it's just it's right. just for you. You know, you 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 had a goal, you had you had a goal, you had a reason, and you stuck with that goal and you stuck with that reason. And now look at you. You know, look where you at now. You know, you're married, you know what I'm saying? Your kids is grown and successful. You're a successful truck driver. Uh your your uh your your husband is a successful whatever he is. So <laughs> So yeah, man. So let's uh let's let's see the transition. Where where did the transition where did the transition come into uh come into trucking? What what was your inspiration to get into trucking? Okay, well, um I haven't wanted to do trucking there since I was five. I was so fascinated with trucks and highway. We did a lot of traveling growing up, um, down south back. And um I was told I couldn't because I was a girl. Mm-hmm. So, eh, you know, um, fast forward, life goes on. I end up losing everything. Um, someone had had a hater bust out my windows in my Lincoln. I had a hair two houses. Just doing what I could to try to keep them maintained. And all of a sudden, um, family members came off on the rocks and, you know, crawled back onto the earth. Like, oh, we want the house back. You know, one house I had has got 12 years. So I thought about the house. So mm-hmm. I came back home. The other house, I was sitting there, and one morning, one of my cousins woke up and decided, uh, I don't like you anymore. So we got, as she said, divorced, whatever. You know, we fell out about the house. So that's serious. Everybody decided they wanted to take everything back from me or take things from me that they felt as tangible as given to me. Mm-hmm. The reason why people don't like to be given nothing because of stuff like this. So basically, I lost everything across the board. And I was so upset, and I was, um, I'm a crybaby, but I try not to cry in public, but behind closed doors, sometimes it's all my eyes out, because life mm-hmm. sometimes sucks. So I called my little brother, whose name is Sean. He stands with me. So I called Sean Day, it was like. God damn it, um, man. How many Sean's in the family, man? <laughs> like, I have to have cousins named Sean. Um, yeah. <laughs> it, ah. it's, it's crazy. Okay, um, go ahead. <laughs> it's crazy. So, um, I was crying to my, my little brother, like, you know, life is just so hard right now. I just want to, I don't know what to do. He's like, sis, got your license? I said, mm-hmm. yeah, I got my license. The only thing I do have left is my license. Mm-hmm. He said, why don't you try trucking? I said, really? He said, they love women in trucking. So, he said, call this number, and I called TR England, and I said, within two weeks, I had walked away from everything. Literally, I mean, I got rid of everything I own. All I have is a two-week bag of clothes. I went to CR England. They sent me a bus ticket. I talked to the recruiter, and it's kind of emotional and explained what's going on. So she, instead of giving me the ticket for um, Sunday to be there, you know, to come in Sunday and be ready for Monday, she gave me a ticket a day early so I could come in and just, you know, take a nice hot shower and get my mind right and speak real good, just my thoughts together and that was two years ago so you got your you got your license your 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 cdl cdl through cr england cr england Mm -hmm. what what made you decide to go through cr england to get your to get your license instead of going through uh my brother was there my my brother was there i didn't know anything about it i had tried 
uh, years ago with Warner and I don't know, everything happened. I tried again with another company and it took me hope to uh, Luke Church gave us my brother gave me the number to call and it was like so easy, like I don't know what I was doing wrong before, but hey, I guess it just meant for me to do it then. And so, he's already there, him and his girl had mm-hmm. been in it for like six months. So he referred me, you know. Okay. Okay. It's, it's, it's so in. So is it true with C R England that that you went out with a trainer and another student while you was uh while you was training through them? You said a trainer and another student? Yeah. Was or did it go down no, like the that? The student was a trainer. The Stu- student was a trainer. Oh my goodness. Stu- wait, 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 one- wait, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. After you get your license and you go out with a trainer, the trainer was a student? What? Yes, if you if you are like say if say if I say if you not with the same school if you graduated last month right okay? right and I'm graduating this month you know what R- I mean? right it's a it's a high chance that you will be my trainer because you took the extra class to become a trainer off grid okay wait 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 this is this is the blind leading the blind over here how the hell another student exactly how the hell another student is going to train a student. You're a student yourself. I you have. Just, what was that experience? I, I need to know. I need now, to know. I had, now, my first trainer I did have, my first trainer I did have, he was great. Oh, my God. He was a bomb.com. He needs to train everybody, but he has some couple of health issues with his blood pressure, whatever. He had to kind of stop. But he, that was a great guy. Everybody else from that was the truckers from hell. I'll tell you if I could tell, make a movie or write a book, it would be called Truckers from Hell. Mm-hmm. I did not have a good rapport with anybody else out of, of this event. I don't do well with others. I accept that. Hey, this is all wrong. I had one, um, uh, she was a trainer at, or I don't know what was wrong with her life. But anyway, um, she had just graduated. And I guess in her head, she was still a trainer, but we probably had teammates. And I ended up catching two incidents at CR England the first two weeks I was out. Stuff that could have been prevented. And even when the incident happened, I'm going to tell you what happened. Mm-hmm. The guys that ended up having to help you get out of the situation said, the person you with sucks because there's no way she's going through this if she's doing her part. Right. One of them was, I was only out for two weeks, not even two weeks. Mm-hmm. And I was, it was super late. And she would want to wait to the last minute to try to take the turn. You know, like we go up on an intersection, like, oh, turn here. That ain't happening. You know, type of thing. So we had to go around. Anyway, we got in the parking lot. Um, she would want to push the clock to the dead, dead, last, last minute. I'm tired. It's time to, uh, we still got to go park. This give me a, the last two hours to try to find a spot so I can focus on parking. So I won't get too tired. But anyway. Okay. She had, um, I was trying to park and the, the parking lot was full. It had one parking spot available. So she was telling me to go around the, the truck so I could pull in, mm-hmm. which that'd be gravy. So I'm going around, me, I'm new. So I don't know what's going on in the parking lot and it's like three o'clock in the morning. It's right. dark. Right. But okay. So I pull, I pull around all the trucks, I'm pulling in and I stopped. So mm-hmm. I realized that it was only a parking spot on the other side because some type of barrier in front of me. I said, I can't pull it through here. She said, well, try it anyway. I said, something is blocking me. Can you get out for me and see what it is? She said, just force it through. I'm not about to help if you don't. Okay, can you just please get out and check? Never mind. I stopped. I checked myself. I said, it's a barrier here. I'm about to back up. She said, well, back up. I said, I need to get a spot. Because as I turn in, my trailer is still basically wrapped around other trucks, you know, as right. you trying to come in. Right. Because it's dark, you right. know, and I tried to live it too soon. So but where where was up. where was where was the trainer at in all of this? Did she was he or she was she, still in the truck? She was she was the trainer slash teammate slash just graduated too. Okay, so where where so was where was she? In she was still in the truck? Yeah, just sitting there. Like, okay, well, why why she pop. didn't get why she didn't get out? The mystery we both forgot. 
never know. So I asked my four or five times she fits out. She said, no, do it yourself. I said, okay, that's no problem. But still, can you get out to help me? Right. Y'all supposed to be teammates. Y'all supposed to be Y'all supposed to be helping one another. You know how when you pull in, I used to go past the parking spot where you pull in. Right. Well, I didn't quite go past the parking spot, so when I turned, I'm like still in front of other trailers. I I haven't hit anything, I'm still in front of other trailers. I need her to get out though, because I don't know which way to turn. I need you guys. You got more experience as you, you know, they're portraying that you got all the skill, whatever, whatever. I don't know you like that. We just met. He get out here. He said, no, you got to do it yourself. I said, I understand what you got to look. I don't care if I got a thousand times to look. I can't leave my eyeballs in the back of the trailer to see where I'm going while I'm driving, too. I'm not that, I'm not that skilled. So you mean to tell me she, so, you, you mean to tell me that this, 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 this person right here wouldn't, wouldn't help you. Y'all supposed to be helping each other. That's, that was the whole, okay. So scratch so, all of that. How, how, how'd I do it? How, well, no, no, no. You, you don't have to explain how you, how you got up in there. How, how long were you together with this person? Oh, I'm good. About two more weeks. Okay. Because after that, today, oh, wait a minute. After this, this work is juicy. I got out. And I'm, um, I was going to go ask somebody. Uh, no, I was going to go ask somebody, but she didn't want me to. She ever argued with me doing some stuff. I said, you know what, fine. So what I did was I entered back, you know, really, like, basically, let it, that's how you put it in gear to kind of let it coast back a little bit. So I'm scared. I don't want to hit nobody. I don't want to burn everybody. I can't see. But let me just blow the horn and kind of say it's going to be moving. All of a sudden, I can't move no more. I'm like, can you get out and see what's going on? I said, I can't move. No, you got this stuff. I, you know what? I don't know why we were in here together. Because you are like, really okay, shine, 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 yes? shine, 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 shine. Yeah? You don't even have to go no further because... You you don't have to go no further because me listening to me listening to your story about about this a hole driver is really teeing me off and you're not even wolf that driver. Called you, the cops on me. You're not even you're not even wolf that person no more. I, I'm over here it's because I'm sitting here like what the fuck like you. Ooh, I, I mean you so supposed to, day, you su- you supposed to. No matter what, if if we gonna if we gonna rock out together, we gotta help each other. And you're not helping. I understand you're trying to yeah. teach me something, but you're not helping. So you say you had to. She admitted that she didn't want me to get my. She didn't want me to uh to pass my test. That's why she's doing those things. So she's been spiteful on purpose. Well, yeah. enough anyway, en- enough of that. But you said I left there mm-hmm. and I switched companies. And I was with USA Truck. How long you was with uh? So how how long was you with CR England after all of that? Probably about seven total of seven weeks for me going there from day one to class. I was on an assignment for we got we got to get away two weeks. But then she got me fired. So you wasn't even you because you wasn't even able to <laughs> the the you wasn't even you wasn't able to fulfill your contract for getting your CDL through them. Right. Right. Oh, okay. So she had called the cops. They, they looked at that as a preventable incident. I mean, a non-preventable and preventable incident. Those two different things. So she just, just spiteful. I say these spiteful. Anyway, that's over. So yeah. my, my situation I carry over my license is because of me being with her. It's two different incidents. So, okay. You know. So you still, so. I mean, that, that'd be a whole other story. So I. Hell, That'd so, be a whole other story. So after 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 you left them and you you left with your license, did CR England try to uh, baller block you from from other places because you 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 didn't pay your you didn't pay your obligation to them? No, well I had and uh, I just had to work with them for a year that would have been paid off. I was making payments, so I had already started making payments. Oh, well, so you just after you just left them, you just finished making payments that, to them? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was making payments. Uh huh. All right. So, so I left there with the CRA, uh, USA truck. So you went to a USA truck and you rocked out. How long you rocked out with USA truck? Because I think, I think um, that's when me and you started talking when you got with USA right, truck. Right. I told you I was so scared. I didn't know how to dock. I'm like, okay, I don't know how to dock. I don't know what I'm doing. And you walked me through it. And I kept you know what you said in my head. And I, I did it. So I'm beastly now on the dock. I'm beastly. I'm beast out there. 
on that one. Okay. <laughs> so okay. <thank> so, <laughs> so yeah. So you. So that's when me and you started talking when you got with uh when you got with us USA right. Truck. What right. was uh what what was what was the experience with them? Okay, you know what? It was first year, great. Uh, I was able to travel, same things, enjoy life, beautiful. It wasn't until I got to, uh, hold on a second. It wasn't until, I say, September of last year when I went to dedicate it with them. Mm-hmm. It being scared really bad. It became really bad. Um, the fleet I was on, they were kind of creepy. <laughs> really, they was doing some things that was like a little bit too extra. Like, you know, mm-hmm. um, one moment where I'm just going to say one instance is that they will wait till I get home to try to call me to change my assignment. And I told them, no, you have mm-hmm. 14 hours a day. Mm-hmm. So whatever assignment you need to do or any justice you need to do, do them within my 14 hours. Because when I'm at home, my 10 hours belong to my husband. And they took that person and all of a sudden, all hell to start breaking loose for no reason. Mm-hmm. Um, he would call me Ms. Smith. It's like he was being a jerk. Right. So one day I corrected him. I said, Mrs. Smith, I do have a whole husband. I guess that was offensive to him. And just, you know, he has got that it's a man's world. Mm-hmm. And if a female's in it, I don't even think that the female's trying to be a man or better than a man. I'm not a man. I'm not trying to be, a, trying to be better than a man. I'm a whole entire woman. They can do same things that men do. Hold on right quick. You know. Okay, I'm back. I wonder what's that beeping now? That beeping noise. Okay. All right. So I was like, you know, I'm not I'm not I'm not a butch, a bull or anything, trying to be hardcore man, anything I'm a whole woman. So I guess it was like one of them since it's a man's world, they try to make things harder than what it has to be just because I'm a female, you know, make it where I wanna quit. But I did. You know, and they was doing stuff like if you time to get paid, I get zero dollar check. Zero dollar check. That's why. Uh, that's that's, that's where the life. that's that's where the McDonald's checks come into play, huh? Right. I mean, hold on. McDonald's doing good compared to what I was getting. I'm getting zero dollar checks. Give mm-hmm. my time. I'm getting zero dollar checks. How in trucking do you ever get zero dollar checks? Today, was you I'm wait? Was you money. leasing? No. You was a company I driver, was right? So how the hell you ended up getting zero dollar checks? Right, try five of them. Five zero dollar checks, like they right. didn't. So uh, so out of all those weeks, man, they didn't have you. They didn't have you go anywhere, nothing like that. They didn't have no assignments. Trying, yes, they I'm they had dedicated. you sitting for five yes. weeks. <laughs> you would think no, I was driving. You was no, I was actually working. How are you? How are you okay. not getting? How are you not grossing any money? Right. So I was asked for money. They um, but give me my. They would give me my, my money. But they was advancing to me. So it got to the point I had like a thousand dollars in cash advances. How do I have a thousand dollars in cash advances when we only allowed to take out a hundred dollars a week? Uh, well, you was asking for your money up front. No, I was. I was asking for my money when it was due. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Oh, hold up. So Friday, instead of, instead of giving you instead of giving you uh the one hundred dollar advance on they w- like you, what you was doing, Sean? You was asking for a hundred dollars a day? No, it was no. I don't, <laughs> you only allowed to get a hundred dollars a week. Okay, a hundred dollars a week for cash that's advance. It, so all. that's a hundred dollars. That's, that's all. So that's all you so. So that's all you was, you, wait. Well, you getting right, zero. Right. You exactly. getting zero dollar checks, but a hundred dollars of an of an advance. You only making a hundred dollars right. a week. I wasn't even doing that because when I got my check, it'd be like negative this, negative this. I don't work every day. All day. I'm doing. I was doing twenty eight days out, four days in. So how? How, hours, how much you if all right so you company Max driver was you getting was you was you getting you know, you know was you getting wrong. was you getting percentage or was you getting cent per mile cent per mile okay so 
How are you getting zero dollar checks, girl? Because I was dealing with jerks that was being spiteful just because. How is it possible? Power, How is it possible? You want me to sit? You want me to give you pay stubs? Oh uh, man, I, I I take your word for it. You don't have to send pay stubs. I I take your word for it. I have nothing to hide. I, I take your word your for it. And this is and this and this is this is USA Truck. Yes. Okay, so you now, the you, fleet I was originally on was a good fleet. It was the one they put, I had switched over to, trying to be dedicated, trying to be so I come home every day. Okay. That those folks. Oh. They were the worst. Okay, but I'm, I'm still tripping on the zero dollar checks, yo. I know, right? Like zero, like I know. So right. where, where's the money, uh, like, I gotta Sean? Put, like I got to put milkshake in on that way, huh? Lashawn, where's the money? So while I was asking for my money, they would give it to me, right? Okay. So their thing was, well, you asked for your money up front, so we gave it to you. No, I did not ask my, my money up front. I asked my money. I asked where my money was at when it wasn't where it was supposed to be at. Here it is Friday. I got with the money at Tuesday to get some money. But we advanced to you. I didn't need to advance nothing because I worked for that money. But what happened was once we advanced to you, we didn't take your taxes out. Whose fault is that? Because I work. I have proof that I work. I have logs. I have a whole year's worth of logs paying out so much. Even. I'm on a whole different fee of me working, of me getting paid, of me having now. Now, I don't know who's in the office. You can't add, count, whatever. But y'all owe me. So I don't care how much money I got to take out for taxes, for benefits, for my stocks. I don't give a hand telling what I got to take out. Give me what it's due to me. So that's what made me go on the bridge for the longest. I'm like, this is, this is ridiculous. But here it is around Christmas time. I'm getting zero dollar checks. So I'm up here on Christmas time. What I do, I got to get empty boxes and wrap them up with newspapers. Merry Christmas for this. That's a mirror. Zero. Like I asked them, like I told them, I'm going to get their stuff together. I said, I don't know what's popping corn, but it can't be the butter. I'm going to take it this right. Zero. So I ended up getting off that, that fleet, went back to my, I've been, I went back to my original fleet. Everything was cool. Um, fast forward, that was like, uh, uh, that was in September, October. I won a different fleet. That was a good fleet. Uh, that was when I was on the Walmart account. That was great. That was Wow, well, that's, I was not going to kept that account. So I go back to my original fee, do, do a cents per mile. So I was on a dedicated, I was doing per day. So I go back to my original fee, that was fine. Um, now, everything was good. It just seemed like closer and closer it came to me getting my bonus. Things started looking a little shady, like, you know, mouths and stuff. And, you know, I understand that, you know, the COVID thing kicked in and, you know, so you might have places shut down, no problem. So I had started doing my, my 34 hour reset at home because my husband had, had an injury so I had mm-hmm. white to do this had to kick in and I had told my job at the time it had happened um, it was a couple of times that I was able to route myself through home mm-hmm. stop by and check on him and then keep, keep pushing to get my loads in etc so um, I so had you, um, so you went I told so, my job so, so you so you so you, with, with USA truck you went from making like fourteen to sixteen, bringing home like a fifteen, down to like hey, what? down to like two, down to like two three hundred. So that's McDonald's checks right there. Okay, let's start all over. Fourteen, fifteen. I seen one fourteen hundred dollar check the whole time I've been working here. One. Okay, because I'm 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 reading what one. you I'm I'm reading what you sent me. I'm yeah, I know what you read. read. Uh. And I'm hearing what you're thinking, like everybody else is thinking. I'm out here all over the chart. No, I broke all of this. No, I seen one fourteen hundred dollars check in the whole two years I was working there. My normal check I would bring home is like, um, cause I had stocks and uh, uh, stuff like that and benefits. So I said on my good day, I could bring home nine hundred. That was one of the good days. Mm-hmm. But no, it started getting. I started getting. Oh, I done, I done had a couple of twenty eight dollars checks. Thirty-seven dollar check. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So them big checks, everybody be like, "Oh, y'all be making this amount." I have yet to see those amounts. I have yet to see it. I promise you. It's been times I made more twerking. 
anyway. Hello? I'm still here. Uh, okay, so I'm still here. I ain't I ain't leave you. I'm um, just I'm I'm but the, the last the last lump sum of my my bonus I got. I'll be, I'll be thinking like you know oh I'm gonna get maybe twenty five hundred miles this week plus my bonus. That'd be a fat check. No, I got maybe like three hundred miles a week on top of my bonus. Did they tax the crap out of us? So I ended up having a normal check. I said, what the heck? It's really tough for I'm telling you, it cannot be the butter. So, you know, uh, it was time for me to do my last, uh, do my last bonus, which I hit 100,000 miles. I hit 100,000 miles in April. Mm-hmm. It was hard. And before I did that, I was doing home time weekly and going home weekly. So she was telling me that if we I was getting low miles because I'm going home weekly, if I'm still going home weekly, I still got 500 miles a day. In. So you can still fill those up. So I can, um, you know, meet my quota. We was guaranteed nineteen hundred. Once I get fifteen hundred, fourteen hundred miles, sometimes seven hundred miles. So she said it was because I was going home. So I stopped. I took my husband got healed. I stopped going home. I took FMLA out. Mm-hmm. So I went home. Wasn't getting paid anything. I tried to file for unemployment. They told me I didn't make more than two hundred sixty nine dollars a week. I said, "What in the hell is was going on with my life?" It is going on without me, which I mean, I didn't make more than two hundred sixty nine dollars. You know, but I don't know who ain't doing their math right. So I'm sick of this crap. So I quit. Uh, I quit staying at home and went back to work because of COVID. Couldn't afford to be at home, so you know I have to love my husband from a distance. So I go to work. Now I'm getting back my twenty eight days off, four days, right? Mm-hmm. I get back, smack it. I start getting twelve hundred miles, thirteen hundred miles. Wait. Y'all tell me I went home. This is why my mouth dropped. I'm going to give y'all all my time. My mouth still pending. Really? So, I was driving. And, oh, I did my mouth last last month. They told me I don't get paid in May for my mouth. They told they get paid once a month. The bonuses come out once a month. So, I did my stuff in April. May come. They said, oh, you got to wait till June. I got to wait till June. What's wrong with May? May's a whole month on the calendar. I have to check my calendar twice. Like, I know there's 12 months, but one of them is May. Why can't I get paid in May? So, long story short, I was driving, and I picked up a trailer. And the trailer felt extra light. I know it was this telling. I had got out three times, double-checked double checked everything. It didn't seem right. Well, when it's incident, I'm going to tell you about it happened. Each the two um, technicians and a tow truck guy that came out, I had to tell them what happened. They, they didn't even realize it still. The axle had broke and my wheel flew off. Man. Yeah, it's time to go all the way home now. So. All right. So, so I, did, I didn't want to. I didn't want to. Ban, I didn't want to abandon the truck. At the end, I didn't want to abandon the truck. How long? Wait, I got closer to home. How 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 long with with all that that just happened to you? How long all together that um, you that you was with uh, USA Truck? Um, I started work with them September twenty eighteen. I just quit um, last week. Right, so last about, week. you say 2018, 2020, so about a year and a couple of months? Yeah, about 20 months. All right. Um, about 20, I was, it would have been 24 months in September. All right. Man, that's crazy to, to sit here and and listen to these crazy stories that uh, that you got, yeah, LaShawn. I mean, um, man, you, 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 you went through it. You know, life... You know, life toughened I mean, life got, toughen got, you up. I mean, you know, and your past, you know, your your past life and your your current life in trucking. Where do you? How do you feel? Um, how how do you feel? The how do you feel for for women that's in trucking right now? Do you think that you know? Do you think that you know that trucking has accepted women? Well, I'm going to tell all the women that fight all the dancing, have a go. You know, because it is a man's world. And you, actually, it's a lot of gentlemen in trucking. I mean, the gentlemen, you're like, what are the gentlemen? They are really in trucking. They are so open to women drivers. However, you do have a few of them that have a problem with women working. You know, so you do have a few of them that has a problem with females being in trucking. I'm not talking about the actual truck of itself, more or less the um, 
like the seats I was on, the, the one seat, the one particular seat that was all men that really didn't go well. So I'm talking, you know, no matter what you do in life, always have a goal. And while you have that goal, work on that goal, complete that goal, because you never know what, what uh, tomorrow may bring. You may still have a job, you may not. However, don't leave out of one job, not complete the goal. Something on your list. And like right now, I have a backup pain because I am a martial artist. Um, I'm about to go for my second done, and I'm a teach martial arts and self defense. So I would recommend a lot of females to take up self defense classes because you will have times out here you may have to defend yourself. You're not allowed to carry guns or weapons, some beats of hands. So you about to get so, a whole lot so, more than running. So you about to so you you about to make you about to make sure them hands is deadly. You do do we yeah, have I'm to registered. do we so, have to do we have to certify them hands as uh as deadly weapons? They already are. Oh, they already, already are deadly weapons. So, so if a person, yes. so you don't have to worry about nobody running up on you, man. You're going ahead and uh, gently chop their ass, huh? <laughs> I told that man, he had a gunpoint. I'm still here. Um, I also have a pit bull that you know that's my road dog. Have you? Ha- he- have you have Have you ever had any any situations uh, in trucking? Uh, you know, like at a truck stops or something like that. What, what's the reaction? Of, of you when you get out of the truck? Uh, well, okay. Usually, the only time I got out of the truck is if I had to go eat or if I go get cash bands. I very seldom got out of the truck. But my pit, um, I've had him since we were born. I, I bred him, actually. He does not allow anyone to come close to him. Like, if I'm walking, you, it's only you walking on the same side of the tree. So I get respect to let people go, go past or, mm-hmm. you know, if you walk up for me, he, he's very... I have PTSD, so he's very alert to my senses, my, my feelings. So he's great. Now, when I'm by myself, uh, um, I walk by faith, not by sight. You know, I fear no man but God, no weapon for it, it's impossible. For but sure. That's true. For so. sure. And I, I, t- I taught CCW classes, so um, I have I got my uh, CCW license. I even have my old partners to so one step up. Okay. Um, okay. My people are like, oh, I have my CCW, so I can do something. No. You actually can only have that in your house or in your car. So all pilots is the one that allows you to walk around um, concealed. Right. So people so, get that confused because I want to spend an extra two hundred dollars to take that class. There's one nobody mm-hmm. knows about it, but it's an extra class that you should take with the CCW. To make sure you legit all the way around. Well, Sean, do you think there's any? Do you think there's any? Um, do you think there's any uh, respect for women in trucking right now? Yes, I'm one of them. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I do. Um, right. There are some that come good in competition. Then they have just their own mental situation. They need to get together. They're not happy somewhere. But a lot of I've met a lot of females that that love seeing female truckers. Us females that's true, the two bosses. We love seeing women in trucking. We mm-hmm. love seeing because like ah, oh, you know, we motivate each other and you know we talk to each other. But the incident I had truckers from hell. That, that was a whole other situation. I think she just had some personal demons to deal with. But like I said, I have goals. Right now, I'm teaching martial arts, and I'm, I'm an MV mama. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. All right, so doing this downtime that, that you're taking, are you, are you still are you, are you still interested in trucking, or are you are you still looking? Yeah, I just want something home. I want something home daily. I don't want no more condominiums. I want a day cab. Home daily. I thought about doing a school bus, but right now, like I said, I teach martial arts, and I've gotten into modeling, so I don't do a photo. So you need something. You need you, you need school. you need something to go around with with what you're doing instead of going back out over the road. No, yeah, I don't no, want to do the no, no I, more I, over I, the I road, travel. huh? No, as a matter of fact, I don't drive my car that much. Me and my dog walk around, and my husband drives. I've done driving for a little while, but it doesn't I'm not scared away from it. I'm just I did two years on the road, so. All right, all right. Home daily. all right. And then I, I also found out by some old heads that. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, I also found from some old heads that the more you work since for miles, you're going to have more miles to drive. You work, you see, they said the more miles, hold on, how you say it? You work since for miles, you're going to have a lot of miles to drive. If mm-hmm. you work, uh, the more money you make, the less miles you drive. That's what they say. Exactly. So, sometimes, that said, sometimes that works that way because you get because sometimes like if if you if you drive less, 
the simple simple mouth will be more. If you drive more, the simple mouth will be less. I, I don't even right, understand. I, right I don't there. even understand that 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 thing right there. But I, I'm like. All miles that I'm driving, I want to get paid for it as much money as I as I can get out of it. Right. So that's, so, no, that's I had I a job offer for pilot that asked me to work, and it's gonna be like twenty one dollars an hour. And I wasn't for sure how to sell my stuff. I wasn't for sure how to you know work it because you know I was good to it. And um, when I realized like if I did there yeah, all my time, I was gonna do that. Um, CR anyway, like my five to six hundred miles a day, mm-hmm. seven days out. I would have been making like twenty five dollars an hour. So when they offered me twenty one dollars an hour job, I'm like, you know what? I see the difference now. So I would do the tanker. The tanker you come home daily, um, try to drive forty five miles out to your job site. But that's a home daily job. So I'm looking for that next. Okay. I don't wanna give up. It's right now taking a break because it's summertime and ready to pull and I'm gonna do my photo shoots and I wanna uh, walk my second down. I've been nominated to go into the Black Belt Hall of Fame. Uh, later this year, depending on how things go on, but the COVID kind of shut everything down. So I got some goals, some some interesting things to look forward to. But okay. no, I'm not gonna get up trucking. Just gonna take a break. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Well, all right, all right, Lashawn Smith. Thank you for coming Thank on. You. I do appreciate it. The stories that you uh, that that you uh, that you went I mean, that you said it was just, was exhilarating. I really do appreciate it, man. It was awesome listening to your listening to your life right I now, man. It. it was it was all love. It was I, all love, man. So I hope no, everybody no, enjoyed it. No, no more. You know, no more trucking as far as going over the road or anything like that. Uh, no, you got no, you got no, different no. goals and 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 different outlooks now, huh? Right. All right, all right. Well, that's uh, that was my girl Lashawn Smith. Yo, man, with woo, man, what all a right. what a what a ride, what a ride, y'all, what a ride. <laughs> well, if you guys want to come on and, and tell your story, man, come on with it, come on with it. Lockout Men Podcast right here for you, man. I appreciate you guys using this platform to get your stories out there, man. If you want to come and holler at me, it's Lockout Men Podcast at gmail.com. 216-600-2090. Or you can come over to Instagram, subscribe, and hit me up in the DM like all you guys do, man. Yo, I do appreciate you guys listening. If you like content, like this and more don't forget to like subscribe comment share and hit that bell for more or if you want to just listen i'm all over google Podcasts, spotify apple Podcasts, iheart radio hit me up man just type block out men and i'm right there i appreciate it thank you very much Lashawn. this heard that come on me my name's Lashawn. Two LaShawns at the same time, man. What's up with that? But uh <laughs> and we're from Ohio. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. No, right? Yes, sir. On that note, me and LaShawn is out of here. Y'all take it easy and I'll come back Bye. at y'all. Take care, yeah. All right, all right. Well, LaShawn, man, I mean It's woo. our first one. I wasn't nervous. <laughs> oh man. You're easy to talk to, so that was great. Yeah, that's that's what I was saying. You know, I, I was that that that's what I do. I just sit back sit back and just listen, you know, just listen to